September 2010 paper. I've slightly reorganised it. The scatter graph comes first. Um, I just had to fit it on the page. So, Freddie and Priya both like music. Freddie gives some scores, uh, some song scores out of 10. The scatter diagram looks like this. So, the length of the song goes along here, and then the score he gave them goes up the side here. What fraction of the songs is given full marks? Well, first of all, he rated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 songs. He rated 13 songs, and two of them got 10. So, the fraction of the given full marks is 2 out of 13. How long is the song that is given a score of 4? How long is the song that is given a score of 4? Well, this one is the one that's given a score of 4. And we've got to work out how long it is, so you've got to look really carefully at this. If you go down, it's two. It's 5 minutes plus 2 little squares. Now, this can't be 10 seconds, because it can't go uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds. It doesn't work. So you've got to do the 60 seconds. There's five little squares. Five little little squares is equal to 60 seconds. So you've got to use your brain here. And if five little squares is equal to 60 seconds, one little square is 60 divided by five. It's got to be 12 seconds. Now have a little think about that. We've got to get up from five or from any minute to another minute in five steps. But there's 60 seconds in a minute, isn't there? So you've got to work out the one little square is 12 minutes. I'm oh, sorry, is 12 seconds. And that will get you a mark. So you can see now if we've got two little squares, well, we can check 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. That works, doesn't it? So it's going to be five minutes. And it's going to be 12 plus another 12 is 24 seconds. So that's how many marks. I have a little thing about that. It was a bit tricky. The last bit, or well, the last bit on this page, part C, says Freddie has the hypothesis. He says the shorter the song, the more he likes it. Comment on his, on his hypothesis. Well, it's generally true. It's generally true. Because if I drew some kind of... Uh, rough line of best fit, it kind of goes something like, not quite like that, it goes a bit more like this, if I draw a line of best fit, so it does go down, doesn't it? Uh, it's generally true, it's generally the true, uh, as if you drew a line of best fit, it would show negative correlation. Generally true, as if you drew a line of best fit, it's going to go down, it shows negative correlation. Okay, There are other answers. You could argue um, that would get you the mark. You could argue, though, that the shortest the song you will like it is not necessarily true because at the beginning he liked the, the shortest song he didn't like the best or even the next couple of shortest songs he didn't like the best his best scores weren't at the beginning weren't aren't all the shortest songs so you could argue that uh, actually there's a few songs that 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 he likes he likes better that are longer than other songs so these ones aren't at the front of the graph so you could say that but um yeah, so you could argue that as well, and you could write that down. What I said would get you the mark too. This one says, Pri also gives this, gives some songs uh, a square out of 10. She has a different hy hypothesis. She says the longer the song, the more she likes it. So the further along to the right, the higher it goes up. Um, it says, show that, um, draw points on the scatter graph that are generally true. So, well, it means it's going to follow some kind of pattern, and I've you don't have to plot it exactly, but it's going to follow some kind of pattern that goes, oops, that goes up. 
So as you go to the right, the songs generally slope up. This would show positive correlation. So the longer the song, the more she likes it. Okay, so at least follow something like that. Now, you don't have to put these data points exactly. You just have to kind of show the general upward trend. Okay, that's an extra mark.